Hey guys, so in this video we're going to look at 10 different turtling techniques you can use to counter W King. If you haven't seen my recent video on advanced tricks to counter turtling, definitely go check that out. This video will be the opposite. Instead, we'll cover tricks to stop these maniacs from getting inside our box and to counter them trying to counter our turtling. You could obviously just hold down turbo build and if you have good ping, you shouldn't have much trouble fending off people trying to replace your walls. The problem is, most people just stand there and spam your walls and keep you trapped in your box until you no longer have any mats, and at that point, you're dead meat. That's why learning these tricks will be so important. You'll not only be able to turtle in peace, but you'll also be able to outplay people who've only seen my videos on how to counter turtling and not this one. So let's start with a broken new exploit you can use to surprise someone who's replacing your wall. For this exploit to work, you need to have a half-edited ramp in your box. As your opponent is replacing your wall, run up to the back of the box you're in and stand up against the wall. Then reset the edited ramp, and you should be phasing through your ramp now. By this time, your opponent should have taken your wall and will go for an edit, all to be shotgunned in the face when they thought you were behind the ramp. From their perspective, they can barely see you because you're phasing through the ramp and you're basically stuck in it. By the time they realize you're there, it'll be all too late for them. Make sure you're up against the back wall while you reset the edit so you'll phase through. You can shoot through the ramp in any direction, but realize you can also be shot yourself. Trust me when I say nobody will ever think to shoot you though. Here's Benji Fish, one of the best players in the world, using this exploit to clutch a fight in the World Cup qualifiers. Second trick is a 200 IQ trap play using a rotated ramp. For this trick to work, you'll need your opponent to be boxed up themselves or to be up against two walls of a building. As they're trying to replace your wall, you want to rotate a ramp, edit a window in your wall that's away from them, and then place the rotated ramp in their box so they're basically stuck on one side of it. After that, quickly edit the window into a Dorito and place a trap on the floor. This is basically a guaranteed kill and is one of the cheekiest trap tricks you can pull off. From your opponent's point of view, there's really no counter once you place the trap on the floor. They could try and edit out if it's their builds around them, but that's why it's so effective if you can do it against walls that aren't theirs. Even if it is their builds around them though, if you can pull this off quickly, they'll be so confused by the rotated ramp that they won't be able to escape. I originally saw this from FaxFox, who is a Korean pro Fortnite player that qualified for the World Cup. And shout out to my cousin Kazaki who helped me make this video and who's the one who came up with the Dorito edit after the window edit. Next up is another trap out play that's basically a guaranteed kill. When someone's pressuring your wall, you can edit the top row and then place a trap above them by just spamming your trap. This trick is even more effective when someone drops down on a cone or a ramp. I actually talked about why people do that in my countering turtles video. When you pull this trick off on someone, from their perspective, they're going to be trying to replace your wall and then they'll be unable to escape from the top since that's where you place the trap. The key for pulling this off is quickly editing so they have no time to react to the trap or to take a shot on you as you edit. The box fighting god Atlantis Kuna does this trick so quickly that you can barely even see the trap from his point of view. Even though he doesn't finish off the kill, you can see how easily he trapped the opponent and now is on the offensive himself. Fourth on the list is one of the craziest new exploits that I've ever seen in Fortnite. You'll need a rift to go and a weapon that's not fully loaded for this trick. Use the rift, then switch to your weapon after you come out of the rift in the air and then start spamming the reload button. For some weird reason, you're able to cancel the reload animation and then shoot once while in midair before you start diving down. Literally all you need to do is spam the reload button and then spam your shoot button while aiming on whoever you're trying to hit. This is why it's so important that your gun needs to be reloaded. This trick can be used both ways, so it can be used to counter W keyers and it can be used to counter turtlers. Just run up to the wall your opponent is trying to replace and do exactly what I said. Hit the rift, spam reload and your fire button and try to hit the one shot you'll get. It's really not that hard to do and you should be able to consistently get it down after a couple of tries or so. Unless your opponent knows the trick as well, they're basically immobilized in midair and you get a free shot on them. This other clip by Kuna shows how broken this trick is. You can use a shotgun, a sniper or flint knock like Kuna does here and basically one shot people with a clean headshot. Fifth trick is a clean way to get out of your 1x1 while getting pressured. Credit for this trick goes to WTF Sunny. You need a cone in your 1x1 that you're on top of, then either edit the top left or right corner. After that, edit the wall you're going to side jump out of into a Dorito so it's basically aligned with the cone edit you did, and then you can jump out of it like you would a cone jump. You can then catch yourself and build up for height. 
This is really effective because instead of just editing out of the top, which most people would expect, you side jump out of nowhere and take height from the person replacing your wall. By the time your opponent catches on to what you're doing, you'll already be 2 or 3 levels above them. Here's Martos showing how useful the trick is. F in the comments for stretch resolutions boys. Rip the good old days. 6th on the list is a simple trick to get a free shot on wall replacers. The trick is to edit as your opponent goes to swing their pickaxe on your wall. You'll know when they do it by basically holding but not confirming your edit after their first pickaxe. So you're essentially predicting the second swing will be coming and that's when you want to confirm the edit. By making the edit just as they go to pickaxe a second time, you'll get a free shot because they can't react to build or to shoot when they're mid-swing with their pickaxe. This has been used on me so many times and is so insanely frustrating because you're expecting to be able to pickaxe their wall, but if they perfectly time the edit, you're a sitting duck and you can do nothing to protect yourself. Here's Kuna outplaying Mitro using this trick, but credit goes to Speedy Gonzalez for originally popularizing it. Seventh is another trap trick that is my personal favorite to outplay W keyers. And by the way, someone W keying just means they're trying to get into your box. This time, as the person is trying to replace your wall, edit out and ramp over them, then box them in with walls and trap them. The key to this trick is speed, so you want to make sure that you ramp over them as soon as you edit out to block any of their shots. Also make sure you're walling them off in every direction so they can't escape and you can successfully trap them in. From their perspective, they'll be expecting you to do a quick edit or to go for a shot, but instead you'll come flying out of your wall and trap them like a maniac. You can even add the trick I showed from one of my advanced tips and tricks videos where after you trap them in, you rotate your ramp towards the trap so then they can't run to the opposite side of the box and avoid the trap. This ensures that they'll be hit by the trap and will be a guaranteed kill if you pull the extra edit off. Here's a clip from my own stream of me using this trick. P.S. Make sure you lads follow my Twitch stream. I basically have been streaming every day. Twitch.tv slash it's Jarian. The eighth trick is something I showed a while back that Mongrel uses a lot. The trick is to edit out one side of your box, then come back around and edit out the original side your opponent was pressuring. Your opponent will see your edit and start moving towards the other wall, all while you're editing out the first side and surprise them with a free shot. By now, most of you guys should understand that these tricks are about being fast and clean, so make sure you're doing these edits quickly and smoothly. Here is one of my subscribers, Tempered Beast, using this to outplay someone pressuring him. Second to last trick is something Martos showed that I've been using for a long time. A lot of the time when someone's replacing your builds, they'll try to shoot or pickaxe what they're trying to replace to get it really low. This way they know on the next hit that they can go for the replace. What you can do to catch them off guard is to spray through your own wall so you break it and then get a few shots on them before they can build. I use this trick a ton and it really does surprise people because they're so focused on replacing your wall, they won't even think about the fact that you can just shoot through your own wall and kill them. You can see how useful it is when Martos uses it here. And from his opponent's perspective, you can see the guy stands absolutely no chance. For the 10th and final trick, I want to show a 200 IQ way to stop shots coming at you when someone replaces your builds. If someone replaces your cone and floor from the top, you're basically dead. You won't be able to build a cone because they already built one and then edited it, and you can't place a floor for the same reason. What you can do though is look straight at the top of the wall and turbo build a ramp. If you're constantly strafing back and forth, you shouldn't get hit at all, even if you're on bad ping and some shots do get through. But if you have stable and decent ping, you won't have to worry about that though. After they stop spraying you, you can edit out and build up or turtle again in another one by one. Point is that you escaped certain death. Epic Whale uses this a ton and is who I learned it from. Overall, these 10 advanced turtling tricks should help you guys fend off W keyers and people trying to replace your walls. Box fighting is an extremely important aspect of the game now, so I definitely recommend learning all of these if you hope to get to champion division, qualify for worlds, or even just win some more solo games. If this video did help you out, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Thank you to everyone using code Jarian, it really does help out more than you guys know. Keep sending me pictures on Instagram and Twitter of you guys using my code so I can shout you out. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.